Hello and welcome to this video where I am going to be diving straight into my bearish Bitcoin Elliott wave count with you. After hitting the upper target of the 12,000 region absolutely perfectly, we are now heading down. So I want to cover some of the most likely scenarios in this video and the targets that are then presented. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. It's not often I make a serious video for the public. So I honestly recommend you turn off all distractions, turn off your mobiles, turn off everything else and give me your full focus for the next 15 minutes or so. And you will thank yourself because when I make these videos, they end very well. Let's remind ourselves the last Elliott Way video that I made, okay? It was obviously off of the back of everybody being bearish for the end of wave four, looking for that final push to the upside to complete wave five. Obviously, everybody had turned bearish once again at support and the short squeeze was likely to bring us back up here to the 12K region. Obviously, over on YouTube, mentioning in the video that I was making at the time, we were looking for that 12K Elliott wave count. Obviously, we topped out at 12K. That was great. I want to talk you through now some of the steps that how well, really, I managed to figure out that we were going to get that push and then where it topped out at and where that's bringing us down to now. OK, so let's go over to the charts. OK, so it all started with, well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring up and highlight some of these, well, the, the charts that I've posted here inside of the champions group, starting with this one. I'm going to read this out for you so you can get into my head and my brain because the knowledge that I can share with you here is just outstanding. So as right in here, on the 14th of the 7th, 2020. I am expecting stock market all-time highs to come. The whole world remains bearish because of a recession, COVID, unemployment rates. With Bitcoin being so correlated to the stock market, it would be very strange to see all-time highs in that market and Bitcoin not to break 10,500. The Elliott wave count of us being in a wave four at the moment and another push upwards does seem the most likely in the medium term. So uh, you may or may not know my background before I traded uh, the cryptocurrency market was heavily trading the stock market. That's where I made the majority of my money from the stock market. So I've always had a great fondness for this market and I understand and trade the correlations between the two markets. OK, the correlation comes and goes. But at this moment in time, I was very bullish on the stock market. And that was leading to my basically leading to my thought process that we will get the push up on Bitcoin as well as everybody being bearish once again at that 9,000 level. And let me tell you this, when 95% of the, percent of the market is bearish, guess what's going to happen? Short squeeze. Only 5% of the, of the traders in the world are going to be consistently making money. I can safely class myself in that top five, maybe even 3% of the world, where we are consistently making money off of the off of the markets it's a hard thing to do but when you've got the technicals as well as correctly reading the psychology in the market it's absolutely possible and that is how i based this count off of i was basing it off the technicals as well as the psychology as well as obviously the emotions here of the market of looking for that final push up obviously to the 12k region that's where we were topping out at here um so let me just show you what the stock market looked like then a second let's just show you this this is the uh, es which is the futures market as you can see I was right at that prediction. We did push up into all time highs. Very much so. Lovely, strong move. OK, so um, that's obviously brought us to step one. That was looking for the bullish count. This is it in the chart in, over in the actual um, in the in the in the champions group where I was writing that. OK, people were asking me, am I going to be short in any of the rises? And myself, I was not shorting this rise. The reason why I was not shorting that fifth wave, because I was foreseeing it was going to be a strong move to the upside. OK, so obviously from a swing traders perspective, and I was just not feeling short in that rise because I recognized the strength that was likely to appear. Absolutely. I was correct on that move as we saw that move to the upside. And for some of the swing trading targets, I was giving a swing long of twelve thousand five hundred. Mentioned this level a few times. Twelve thousand five hundred. I'm going to explain why in a second. But that was the red region I was looking for. As you can see, this is over back over in the champions group, looking for that swing long of twelve thousand five hundred. That was off the back of taking. You know, I'm, I'm a trader that does go into uh, in and out of positions. Obviously, when I'm scalp trading, that was obviously a long into the short, closing out eight percent of that short, going into longs, and obviously 
I was looking for that at the time was 12,500. That was on the 31st, by the way. Okay. So I was then looking for the 12,500 region, not just there, but also mentioning a few other times that I was looking for that 12,000 to 12,500. That's where the really, really, really strong resistance was 12K to 12,500. It's obviously where in the public I was just going through a little less in depth, so to speak. But um, the magic of this count is where I, where I was saying here, swing long 12,500. I guess everybody where we did top out at on that to the dollar you can check it up here where it says hi 12,500 to the dollar that is where you topped out so that was a very good prediction and this is all based off Elliott waves this is honestly why I love Elliott waves so so much when we are trending the way that you can forecast and predict the market is like no other tool there's just no other tool that can do this Elliott waves with Fibonacci and reading the psychology and the emotions that are flowing through the market, well, the results really are speaking for themselves. Very, very, very powerful. Okay, so that obviously brought us up to that section. Then we were moving up to the 12,500. So now it gets to why was I thinking 12,500? Okay, the reason we had, were at 12,500 is because I was looking at the length of wave one, expanding that from the end of wave four. Not just me, but also a few members in the group. This is a shout out to Younes, who is a fellow champion was also recognizing that we had hit the one-to-one -one. so wave one expanded from four hitting the one-to-one -one extension very likely that is a likely going to be a high and we are going to be heading down so shout out to you Nez, not just me but also members learning and you know absolutely acing those calls as well so what we saw here was obviously uh topping out that was the high so that literally was the high and this is where we can get mix other different theories into this as you may or may not know depending on how long you followed me but i've been doing uh signal calls recently and one of my signal calls was off of the head and shoulders pattern that had formed specifically this one obviously the high there still being twelve thousand five hundred. we were going into the well, obviously moving back down to form one more base touch before we moved up for the high there off the right shoulder and obviously trading that back down that was the signal call that I'm still in, by the way, and everybody in the group getting into those shorts originally at around 11,000, you know, around 11,800 on this one. And, you know, taking it down to where we are now, which is around 10,300. So an extremely, extremely profitable short. And that was obviously based off of the head and shoulders. So we had the original high that was put in for a very good swing traders perspective, 12,500. And then this one really was more of a, for, you know, judging off of swing sculpts. We are then obviously taking it back down. There was no swing failure pattern of the lower of the head and shoulders. And we headed well, head all the way down to 9,000 region. Okay, so that really brings us up to where we are now. Each step of the way from, let's just go over it one more time, from the lows, okay, taking that up to the highs and then once more to where we are now, back down to the lows. Okay, so I will click on this so you can see. And this is the importance of, you know, accuracy when you're doing it. As you can see, we're looking at the height of wave one to two, Okay, sorry, the length of wave one to the end of wave four. These are the exact periods if you'd like to copy the chart. And as you can see, that's how timing the high there. Okay, if you don't understand Elliott wave theory so much. Um, I'm going to try and explain it really quickly. You basically are looking for when wave three is the extended wave, you're looking for the wet length of wave one to the end of wave four to get your targets for wave five. Okay, that's as high level as I'm going to go into it on this. Okay, so then this was brilliant. Okay, so obviously I had given the signal call off of the head and shoulders. Okay, that's how I managed to take these short positions. And this is where you then can combine this with Elliott wave theory. Because what you can see here then is that's obviously your wave one. This is your wave two. Okay, so you're looking at it down like this. Wave one, there's your two, there's your third. Now we are potentially putting in the third or the fourth. Okay, you understand? So as you saw, down, up, down. As you know here, we bounced off of the CC. This is my one of my favorite Fibonacci tools straight off of the CC there. Stands for Champions Channel. And then really, really nice. The length of wave one to the end of wave two. Okay, as you can see, let me just add this on for you a second. We're going to add on the 1.618 Fibonacci extension and this hit within 0.7%. Okay, literally just so amazing. Okay, we're going to zoom in here. The low of this wick. Okay to the 1.618, about 0.7% basically. So extremely accurate, just just it really, really, really amazing. And that is why in the signal calls this morning, 
I was posting that I'd hit my 25% take profit. So obviously I've still got, you know, percentage of the short running, but that was able to really see this and recognize it from the short all the way up around 12K. And let's take it out around 10,000. Just very, very nice indeed. Uh, that was obviously the first one though today off of the uh, 10,000 swing fire pattern. The second week that you just saw then was closer to the 1.618 extension. Let's come back over to the chart. So now you've got to be thinking to yourself, so, okay, so what's the most likely? We've seen wave one and two form, which then obviously gave you the left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. Easy if I just show it there. There's the left shoulder, there's the head, there's the right shoulder. Okay, so what's the most likely now? Well, in my opinion, as, as I've, I've actually been writing in this, this in the group today, um, my most preferred scenario is that we put in a uh, corrective wave four pattern. And this is where people that have made money shorting this, people that have made money long in this, this is now where people get chopped up and throw away their money. Okay, as everybody's expecting breakdowns, breakups, X, Y, and Z, we are going to be looking for more of a sideways piece to be put in here. Okay, so a, a nice range bound trade for the wave four. That would be my preferred scenario. I, I personally love to trade ranges, so I would love a range to be put in here. And then that would give us our sideways wave four corrective piece. Okay. And this could take a period of time. You have to remember that the length of wave two here was fairly quick and simple. That lasted six days. So we could actually expect to be a, a much longer and more complex wave four to be put in here before heading down, obviously, for that fifth and final wave there. Um, so that's kind of the bigger, bigger game plan here to just put you, obviously, that would obviously just put you into a sub wave of wave one. So there's a lot more pieces of the puzzle. But that will be for another video for the time being. I believe that we're in the wave four piece here. Uh, really, really, really interesting times. So my, you know, my goal of this video was to firstly bring your attention to that. To the perfection that is Elliott Waves, just Elliott Waves. So powerful. Combine this with Fibonacci and it's just it really is amazing. OK, so we just remove this a second and we'll go back onto the higher term time frames. OK, just extremely accurate. OK, it really is a piece of work of art. OK, so we're working up on this section of the last piece of the chart, and that is each step of the way. So you have to think to yourself, what is the most, you know, what's the market most likely doing? When you were at 9K here, everybody, have a guess, was really, really bearish. You got the rise in price. Have a guess what was happening while you were up at those up at those highs around 12,500. Everybody really, really bullish. What happens? Well, this is what happens. You get the very big decrease in price. So you're waiting for blood. And um, basically the way that I'm trading this now, so I can add this in, is uh, I'm still in a short position. Although now I could sculpt the way for the way that I'm trading this at the moment is in a short position, obviously. Taking profits, at, you know, pretty close to the lows right now. And I'm going to be looking for a sideways range. Okay. I always acknowledge I can be wrong on this and absolutely we can just go straight back up. You know, is that a possibility? You know, obviously it's a possibility. So I'm never going to say this is 100% going down right now. Like 100, you know, there's never 100% in the markets. I'm not, I'm not naive. Um, so I will at the end of the day, if this starts to reclaim levels, you know, acknowledge, okay, maybe this is an, in well, this is an incorrect count and we can look for higher levels. And still these, until these regions start to get reclaimed, I've got to trade with what's the highest probabilities because everything is possible in trading, but is it the most probable? So in my opinion, the most probable is a sideways piece here. Get everybody chopped up uh, before we obviously head down for a final wave. If I am invalidated on this idea and we start to reclaim this range, well, thankfully for me, <laughs> um, my short is from much higher. I've taken profits at the lows. I'll still make money either way on this, although obviously more if we go down. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, what can only be described as a perfect way for we currently have. That is with everybody trying to short the breakdown, absolutely wrecked. And everybody trying to long the breakup, absolutely wrecked. The people that have foreseen this way for coming have traded the range perfectly and let me expand upon this a little bit more and this is where it does get next level technical analysis i identified and this is a call in real time the rising wedge pattern where i was looking for the rising wedge to come out of this slightly take the liquidity of the highs onto the local cc this is obviously a bearish pattern looking for shorts to trade this back down that went so far so good with the move out of that rising wedge pattern that is when i highlighted to the team that we had this 
bearish Gartley pattern. If I was looking for another drop to the downside. Guess what? That next drop is going to get everybody bearish once more before the rise in price to 10,440, where everybody is going to be bullish once more. What do we do? We look for the decrease in price. So that's obviously from the rising wedge prediction to the breakdown to get us at the lower CC to where we actually fell through to the 886. But then you can see the high and the higher low be putting in on the CC looking for the longs up to 10,440. Madre mia, what we had last night was the move up to $10,440 exactly as predicted. And that is where we then had a CCV setup. So as you can see from the daily open, taking this down to the previous day value area low, uh, how other team are absolutely loving that call and prediction because as you can see, such a gift. Thank you. It's an absolute pleasure. That is the CCCV setup. You know, if <laughs> the guys are champion, you want to learn this setup. This is what we teach within Chart Champions. And it is just next level trades. Such accurate predictions, as you can see from the money shots over here. Uh, people along with me, like, you know, this is the members inside the group that are absolutely making the killings of longing the lows, then switching those longs into shorts at the highs. It's just, it's just perfect, perfect, perfect trading. I'm so honestly proud. It's really beautiful. It really, really is. Uh, obviously, I'm still in a swing short position, but these day trades, these day trades are just, you know, <laughs> this is where the money is. Uh, but sw still swing short on the higher term time frame Elliott Wave count. But and these these local term predictions, just a, a piece of work, just a piece of art. Really, they are. Uh, so yeah, that's an update of how the current trade is going, and I'll bring you back to finish the video of the Elliott Wave count. Um, that's kind of the um, update that I wanted to give you here. Uh, as always, I will say this. If you would like these updates of where I'm going, what I'm taking levels to, uh, the sort of, you know, live real-time updates, um, then obviously this is a service we offer over at Chart Champions where you have access to my thoughts in real time of the charts and how they are progressing, as well as the educational materials. So if you want to learn how I'm doing these trades, okay we've got so much educational content as well so um you know that's obviously a service that we offer over at chartchampions.com until then i hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed this update video on the elliott wave camp i hope that you all have an absolutely wonderful day and i'm going to say thank you cheers bye